Hi everyone. Um, keep going. What's up? And yeah, uh, oddly enough, it seems that today there's a, some sort of massive traffic problem, so people are going to come in one after the other. Um, but we have to start, so we are going to start. Um, hi, my name is Fadi. Uh, from hi, hi, Fadi. <laughs> exactly. Um, and I, uh, I work uh, at Sequence. Um, and today um, we are. I'm very happy to have the Shushik. Dot com a startup uh, presenting and talking about what they do um, and what we do at sequence is promote entrepreneurship uh, we have residing startups um, and we do a lot of community activities and that sort of thing and these things are important because you a startup is a continuously evolving uh, entity and you need to create an environment around it that is continuously evolving and dynamic to always feed in what the startup wants so we create all of this energy. Tonight is a very special night because we have for the first time two female, two women entrepreneurs who are in the online uh, uh, space. Um, Shushik.com is an online fla fashion flash sales uh, company. Um, they have launched, they are doing quite well and they are looking to expand and to go, go bigger to more markets um, to more customers. So they will tell you about not just you know, the fashion side of things, but the business side of how you actually run a fashion, an online fashion company. So I'm going to stop talking because everyone here really wants to meet uh, the two co-founders. I'm Sarah and this is Dina. We both uh, co-founded Chushik. Uh, can somebody from you tell me what do you know about Chushik, like in a one sentence? I know that it's a, an online flash sales website. Very <laughs> Exactly. We basically it's an online website that sells designer labels at 70% off. I'm going to summarize what Shushik is in five points. So we get to the good stuff. Okay. So basically, we sell designer brands at 70% off. Uh, to be able to access the designer brands, you have to be a member, and registration is for free. So basically, you register, you go in, and you start shopping. Every day, we introduce new sales. They start at, at noon, and they last for up to one week. Uh, if you like something and you buy it via our online payment gateway using your credit card, you get your order in 24 to 48 hours if you're in Lebanon, and it's uh, 48 to 72 hours if it's abroad. All deliveries are for free. And returns and refunds are definitely guaranteed. So if it doesn't work out, you can return it. That's for free as well. And you get your full refund. So that's basically a cap of what Shushik is. So people would say normally say to every um, idea, there's a problem and a solution. So how did we come up with Shushik.com? There are two sides to this problem. There is the supplier and then there's the consumer. Is anybody in the audience a supplier or has worked in the retail industry? One person. Great. So you can understand when I talk about inventory overstock and the brand's reputation. So let's say it's you're ordering for next season. And they tell you that next, season, next summer, it's going to be a fabulous summer. There's going to be millions of new tourists coming in and that you should prepare yourself. So instead of ordering your usual 10 pairs of jeans, you order 20 thinking that there's going to be demand. For some political, social, economical reason, something happens. Mm -hmm. And the tourists that were supposed to be coming don't come. So instead of, sell not, like, instead of not selling your 20 pairs of jeans, you end up just selling the 10. So you're left with access inventory. They're stuck in your inventory room. And your cash is not liquid. That's solidified in them. As a supplier, you have overstock. And you, obviously, what do you do with your overstock? Uh, basically, I was working for uh, European brands, retail chains. So, um, in some case, the merchandise gets to go back to the supplier in Europe, or it gets to be sold at 90% sale. Exactly. So, what, what normally you would do with your um, access inventory is you would try and sell it off to an outlet. And you would sell it off, as you said, 90%, and it would be piled up in piles, and you'd have to like go through it. Most of the brands don't accept that. Uh, for a fact, D&G would never, ever sell their clothes to uh, an outlet because it will tarnish and ruin their brand reputation. So if you actually have that as a brand, 
you imported it. You know that you have overstock now and then you can't sell it to any um, kind of outlet because it will ruin their brand reputation and yours in a way. Supplier doesn't let you. Exactly. Supplier doesn't let you. So you have overstock and supplier doesn't let you. Now, problem two is the consumer. I'm not going to ask who here shops because obviously you all do, correct? Great. So the, the three main problems of a consumer are one, price. So what you used to get for $100 in clothes now costs you $500. So your pair of jeans are like not tripled, they're quadrupled the price than they used to be. Two is time. So you only have, let's say, Saturdays to go shopping. So you, you don't want to waste your time trying to find the perfect pair of pants. And three, convenience and availability. So you decided to take Saturday to go shopping. You get into your car. There's a lot of traffic. You get to the store. You, come, you don't find your size. You do find the right pair. They're too expensive, etc. So you have overstock and price, time, and convenience. So the solution is a new channel of distribution called flash sales. So we get rid of the supplier's access inventory and we sell it to you at diner discounts. So I'm going to let Dina talk about the business model. Okay, so our business model is based on three S's, selection, scarcity and service. What we basically do is we contact retailers uh, from all around the world, locally or international, and also brands. Um, we go there physically, we select the stock that we want and that we think would sell on shushik.com. We shoot it and we upload it on the website with full description and with the available sizes, etc. And then you, as members, you log into the website, you browse the website, you browse the selection and you pick what you like. You pay online and we deliver it for free to your doorstep. So that's basically from A to Z how it works. So as you can see, this is the first part of what Shushik is. Do you all have a general idea of what we do? Yes? Great. So a year and a half ago, I moved to Lebanon. Prior to that, I used to live in London and I worked for a fashion house called Cara Ross. We sold jewelry and exotic skin handbags. And um, what happened is we used to, the way we used to got, we got rid of our overstock is through this channel of flash sales. So we used to work with Kokoza, which is um, a UK flash sale. And our US office used to work with Guild Group, which is also a pioneer of flash sales. So hence, uh, I got the actual knowledge of how it works on the inside from both the retailer and the supplier's uh, point of view. I mean, as exactly. During that time, uh, setting up the company, registering the brand, the logo, etc., cetera, uh, I met Dina in AUB. She was a classmate of mine. And throughout those six months, I tried to convince her, and I did endlessly tell her to um, resign and join Shushik, and it finally worked. And I'll let you know what Dina brought to our team. Okay. So as Sarah mentioned, we met in EUB, and then we went our separate ways. She moved to London, and I moved to Milan. I did my master's in fashion marketing management, and then I stayed th there for an extra year, and I worked with Prada Group as an assistant uh, showroom manager. Then after that, I decided to move back to Lebanon, and um, I started working with Tatten Boutique. I'm sure most of you know it. As an operational manager, uh, I was dealing, I was doing all yeah. their marketing, um, their operations, day-to-day -day operations in the store, and also the buying. And then Sarah came along, she convinced me to quit, to leave my job at Tatten, and to start my own thing. That was her. not easy. It wasn't easy, and then after like three months of negotiation, I decided to leave, and I joined the team in August. All right, so you can see our, our organizational chart. It looks like it's a lot of people doing a lot of things, but technically speaking, um, Dina, I, and Zena run the show uh, from the office. Everything in blue is what we currently do. Everything is green is what we're still looking for, and everything in purple is when we grow, what will grow with us in terms of team. We outsource a lot of our other departments. The most, most important thing as a startup is to always get your legal and your accounting department. You do not want to start a business without these two, and you don't want to waste your time doing all the legal and all the accounting because that is not what, if, if that's not what your business is, you don't want to do that. So I'm not going to bore you with who our consumers are because obviously you do know it's males and females between the age of 20 and 45. All research says that the internet in the MENA region is 3 out of 10 users. Some people consider that low, but technically it's not low because from those, 
three out of 10, which is 32% are internet users, that is 20 million online shoppers. 20 million online shoppers is a big pool of clients. So we decided to start with females because it's clothes and accessories and then soon introduce men. And believe it or not, we actually have a lot of requests asking when is the men going to start. So how do we spread the word and how are we still spreading the word about shushik.com? Um, we use five main uh, different marketing tools. The f first is so our first marketing tool is social media. Uh, what we do is we regularly update our Facebook and Twitter account. They're actually linked together. So anything that we post on Facebook is directly posted on Twitter. Um, we search for celebrities wearing items that we are selling online on our website. We, we realize it's the best way that, to attract attention because always women like to see, for example, their items worn on celebrities and they would want to buy it. Um, the second tool that we use is viral marketing. We showed you our first video and now Later on, I'm going to show you, it's like an avant-premiere for our uh, new advertising campaign. I hope you like the video. And we also have our YouTube account. We keep on updating it with our videos. Uh, the third uh, marketing tool that we use is emails. We send daily emails to our members, reminding them always about what's selling on sushik.com. Um, we, it, we find it as an amazing tool to retain our customers. Um, to spread awareness and also to um, increase uh, the re recurrence of our purchases. And w uh, another thing that we also uh, did is we uh, hosted a fashion show at Whiskey Mist. It was actually the first uh, fashion show. The event was called Fashion House Thursdays and we were the first to host the fashion show there. And we're planning on doing many other fashion shows. We, we realized that it creates a great buzz and that um, press. we had an amazing press release um, uh, releases after the website, and we had amazing coverage. These are a couple of examples. One of them was on a, a website called Khabar Ajil, and another one was on RagMag. And our last um, technique that we use is editorials. We always update um, press about what's happening about shushik.com, and that's also another way to create buzz and to always remind people uh, what's happening. And I'm sure like all of you always check blogs online, you always check other websites, and you buy magazines. So as you said, there's a lot of competition in the market and what defines us from them? Um, this is the graph. This is the direct competition and everything around us is indirect. Uh, these are the private sale or the flash websites that are in Europe and in the US, non -the MENA, not the MENA region. These are the ones in the MENA region. Everything on that side is actually just online um, stores. Middle East and uh, non-MENA. So, I'm going to start with who they are so you get a better idea of where we stand. Vent Privé is the first to actually uh, create um, the flash sale concept. They started about 10 years ago and they're one of the largest currently worldwide. Gilt is also the pioneer of flash sales. Gilt is the pioneer of flash sales in, uh, in the US. They're currently worth $4 billion they tap the market properly and they realize what the growth potential is. So, Brand Alley Kokoza are from Europe, London, London, and then you've got Ideal and Ulala. There's a lot out there in the Europe and the US. The market is just filled with them. But when you come to the Middle East, when, I, when we started to work on this project, there weren't Sukkad or Marka VIP yet. During that period, Sukkad was introduced about a year ago, year and a half ago. Uh, they originate from Dubai. And uh, Marka VIP is from Jordan, and they also started about, um, I think, a year, a year ago. Exactly. And what differentiates us from Suked and Marka VIP is the actual products we put on our website. What we do is we deliver luxury and new t designer brands. What they have is a mixture of what they get their hands on. So you're going to see a Fendi bag next to a Zara top next to a uh, Vera Moda shoe. What we're trying to do is we try to keep it high-end and new designer brands that are not currently in the Middle East. So we're getting something new. Uh, when we first launched, as I said, if you, if you read, you realize that a good idea is a good idea. And uh, what, you, what you, you needed before to do in two years, you can now do in a couple of months. As I previously mentioned, we started the website and we finished it in eight months from the design all the way to actually developing the software, et cetera. So we didn't want to do the pre-launch and wait till we got a certain number of clients and then launch the website because we actually wanted to test it. 
So we tapped into our social network, and literally two days before the website launched, we sent out 350 invites to um, everybody we know, uh, and that's when people registered. So we, we had them join the waiting list, and two days later, we sent out the invites for everybody to join. Currently, we are at uh, 1,200 members, and um, at the end of the year, our pessimistic point of view is reaching 40,000 members. Okay, so what are the challenges that we have faced so far? We summarize them into three main points. The first one is introduction of a new concept, which was the flash sales. Those were what we call constructive criticism, and that's what helped us to improve the website. And our last challenge that we, of course, like all businesses face, um, is day-to-day -day operations. None of the businesses run smoothly. You always face problems. Okay, so in conclusion, our advice to you, for an, or to anyone who is interested in starting their own business. First of all, you should believe in yourself and believe in your idea, and you should love it. And you should be smart in building a solid team. You can't do it alone. You need someone to help you uh, morally and also to help you in day-to-day -day operations. Uh, you have to be ready for criticism. You have, you're going to get a lot of criticism. And as I mentioned before, most of it will be constructive. So you have to accept change. And uh, in the end, of course, never quit. You have to never, ever give up. That's it. Thank you.